All right, today I'm gonna to be doing the biggest transformation that you ever seen in 2022. I mean, the year just started, so that makes sense. And the dopest part about this video is I chose one of you guys to do it. The subscriber I picked today has over 100 dreadlocks. He has been growing his hair for six to seven years. Plus, he started an undergrowth journey that he has gotten it to up to six to seven inches right now on the side of his dreadlocks, which I am actually doing that myself. I've been trying to grow my undercut journey for the past four months, and so we are at right Right now at four inches and I'm gonna be doing an update soon on that but to find out that somebody has done this before gives me a lot of hope that I can do it myself also not only did I connect with the subscriber to benefit him but also he benefited me by encouraging me with his journey he has a hair type of 4b just like mine and if I was to look at it from a distance I would have thought this is my hair about a few months ago and the coolest thing about his hair is his gray patch that he has in the front of his hair just like my big brother do Nate can you put subtitles when you edit this? Without further ado, let's meet our subscriber. Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe. Today is a new day. And we, and we got, got a what? We got a banger. We got a banger. 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 Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. go. Alright guys, today we got my boy. Please pronounce your name correctly so I don't mess it up. It is Alias. Alias! I want to call you Elias what? sometimes because from Ethiopia there's a name called Elias. Yeah, that, I think that's, yeah, I think that's where it, That's where it kind of is yeah. connected to, okay. So if you guys are subscribed to this channel, you have the opportunity to come on this to feature on the transformation video. So hit me up on my Instagram. But without further ado, this is Alias right here. Check him out on your Instagram and YouTube channel. Link should be in the description. He doesn't need a retwist, but I'm giving him a retwist and also a haircut. I don't know if I told you I wanted to give you a haircut too. Is that cool with you? I know some people don't want to get cut. Like, okay, I don't know about that. I, mean, I did a little bit before I got here because I wasn't too sure. I was just... <laughs> no. For this transformation, all I literally brought is a chair and some barber kits and some dreadlock tools. I actually asked him if he had gel because I ran out of a great locks gel. So I just asked him, do you have gel? And he brought his gel. Maybe if I had taken him to a loctician, that would have been a different story, but I didn't. So all I brought with my Prius is a chair and the tools that I need for this transformation. And I'm doing it outside. The challenge with doing it outside is first of all it's kind of chilly you know it's below zero degrees well it's really not for Arizona anything below 60s is literally freezing so this is something that I've never done before and it's very difficult to just step into it and perfect it but I truly believe something great will come out of this transformation my guy <laughs> what's up man and meet Jay. This is my cameraman right now helping me out. Oh, bro, it's been a long time. I like, like a year. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you check him out on his YouTube page. And without him, this wouldn't be possible. So might as well go check out his channel. Link should be in the description. So you're out of school, right? You're not in yeah. high school no more. Yeah, I graduated. When did you graduate? Like two years ago? Last year, I think. Oh, last year? Okay. Yeah, 2020. So I bought my bag, got my towel. I'll put this on him. Before we started, I interviewed him about his dreadlocks. When did he start his dreadlocks? How he started his dreadlocks? What motivates him to keep going? How long he's gonna be growing his dreadlocks out? I asked him a bunch of questions that will be posted on Pineapple World's channel. If you guys don't know what Pineapple World is, link should be in the description. So he has basically almost full locks, like our full head dreadlocks, but he has grown these out to connect them. And this is literally inspirational for me because I am growing the back of my hair, as you guys know, to get a Mohawk dreadlocks. Started with a rubber band and uh, kind of like put them in the sections together so it can kind of grow and lock itself up. And I believe he just twisted them and then used a uh, crochet needle method. Correct? Is that correct? Yeah. And uh, that's how he got them like this. And it looks crispy already. This dreadlock is so dope, man. It's just so clean. I'm excited to do this and uh, give him a whole retwist. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna section it out. I'm gonna just use a little bit. If not, I'm gonna use rose water because that's kind of what I use for my hair. Yeah. I don't like putting a lot of gel because, first of all, I don't buy a lot of gel. So 
So guys, whenever you do a retwist of your hair lock or your dread lock, you don't want to dig into where you try to separate it so perfectly that you snatch a lot of hairs. Because sometimes that's why a lot of people have this kind of fuzziness. Obviously, he doesn't have that much. He just have a little bit. But a lot of locticians, I see him going in, digging in in here, trying to pull the hair out, and sometimes they snap it in half. So if you really want to maintain your locks and want to make it look full, always trying to retwist it with what you can find around there. Of course, use some comb, some rat tail comb, kind of like to define what that would look like. But you don't have to dig in to make sure this side comes on that side and, and all that stuff, because that's really messing up your hair instead of helping you out. A lot of people that were passing by were staring at us like, what in the world are these kids doing out here in the street? From a distance, it may look different and weird because there's three dudes with dreadlocks just standing in the middle of the street. But really, we were here for a whole transformation. This year, I wanna do a bunch of transformation on you guys. So I set out a goal to do two to three people a month. So I gotta literally find, I might even walk around mall to find a person with dreadlocks. The dreadlocks process is taking about three hours so far and it is not easy at all. One of the biggest things that motivated me for this year is that I had a hater comment on my videos that I will not make it. I really was surprised by this comment because it was a random person that keeps on trolling me, coming at me, and he has commented on three or four videos and he really doesn't believe that I'm not gonna make it anywhere. And that's why I need your help. I, I set out my goal to hit in 100K by 2022 and 2023, which is a pretty high goal that I've set since I started my YouTube channel channel let's do this and it will come with a cost but i'm willing to pay for it so this motivated me to keep on going even though my hands were freezing and really it took us literally about three hours we were approaching fourth quarter and i noticed something a car passed by us and they pulled in reverse towards our direction i was a little skeptical about it because i thought it was going to be a drive-by or something crazy but i'm a person with no fear so i just stood there and waited to see what it was. Y'all have way too much fun. I'm candy man and I gotta bring you candy. <laughs> oh. Can I get you on camera? You want, you want some Hershey Kisses or you want some uh, Primo's Tears or Skittles? Uh, Hershey's. It's, there you go, right here, there's that. Oh, thank Boom, you. have fun. Thank right, you, thank man. You. Appreciate you. <laughs> yep. Candy, yeah. Candyman underscore kicks on Instagram. Candy Look man. me up just for fun. Here, come shout it out. Candyman Kicks. It's Candyman underscore kicks on Instagram. I do customs. Now these are Nike ID, but hey, my artist does some great work. That's Check good. my page. I didn't do it for this. I did it because I wanted to see what was going on here, you know, but still, I, I always chance. carrying candy and oh here, you know what? We'll just add a little bonus. Take that. Oh, Y'all be you. good, be safe. <laughs> thank you, man. Have fun, too. Guys. Look, you can be old and still have a good time. <laughs> That's right. To be honest, this Candyman was sent to motivate me to finish strong. See, fourth quarter is the hardest segment of any sports. That's when you need that motivation to get you to finish. And Candyman gave me that bonus to finishing strong. Candyman, if you're watching this out there, man, it is because of you this video is finished and it came out amazing. Oh, here, you know what? We'll just add a little bonus. Take that. We didn't get to the point to cutting his hair just because we took over four hours of doing his hair outside in the cold. But you are the reason that I didn't say we finishing it the next day or next week. So Candyman, shout out to you, man. All right, guys, we just got done with the hair retwist and two strand twist. Two strand twist always looks amazing on a longer drill lock, especially. Uh, as you guys can see, he has really nice long locks. So this came out pretty good. And I, uh, I forgot to count them, but I think I'm gonna count them before before I go, I definitely want to know how long it took me and how many locks that he has so that next time I do something like this, I can plan ahead and uh, of course get better at what I do. A lot of people have been looking at us and acting weird, but it's fine. They they cool, they just don't know what it is going on. They're going to see this video and they're going to be like, what? That's what I was watching. Shout out your YouTube again. Uh, official alias. Official alias is gonna be right there on the screen and also link in the description. Make sure you guys check them out. This is a banger transformation for show. And we appreciate you for coming out, my man.
make sure you guys are liking this video. I worked so hard. I worked literally four hours in the goddamn cold weather trying to get this banger to you guys. So it wasn't easy at all. So I want to see appreciation from y'all likes, from y'all uh, comments and shares. I look at analytics all the time and most of y'all are not even subscribed to me and most of you guys are subscribed to me but doesn't really support me but I would appreciate it at least if you like it on this video. Don't like any other video but just this video.